good morning vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging a day in my life in Lebanon and my sister's here. She's in her room right now. She's visiting from Dubai so we're gonna spend the day together because it's her last full day. I don't know how the time flew already. Right now I'm gonna make Rich breakfast. I begged him to let me make him breakfast so that I could vlog it and I'm gonna make some coffee. I forgot to say I'm Jess if you're new here. Let's Spend the day together. This is the coffee I made, Rich. Looks good. Rich Rich is giving a thumbs up right now. It's good. And I used this like chocolate syrup that has no sugar in it. We're gonna make avocado toast. If you watched my birthday vlog, I begged Rich to let me make him breakfast and I made avocado toast. I'm so sad because I broke my tripod and now my camera is gonna be like super low. Every time when I'm editing, I'm like just this does not look good. We've been waiting for these avocados to be ripe for literally like three weeks. And there's finally some ripe ones. Yesterday I did a HIIT workout and my legs are literally jello. They hurt so bad. Do you want one or two toasts? I'm only hungry enough for one toast. So Ask Nick if he wants. Like Butter the pan so that we can toast the bread. I need to make myself a coffee. I'm so tired. Let's hope I don't pop the egg today. Ooh. Just help a bit, but I almost cut myself. I wonder if we could do that. And then we mash. The pressure is high. Am I gonna be able to crack these eggs? I'll try the counter like Nick says. I topped it. Let's try another one. I got it. Okay, wait, give me one more egg. One of the eggs did not survive. Let's try. Yay, we did it. Rich, look, two eggs. I popped it. All the coolness is gone. Literally. I should have not touched it. Last time I made fun of Rachel because he burnt them. I made fun of him and now I literally ruined the egg too. It's fine. It's fine. Let's assemble. We have one more chance to redeem ourselves and make a better egg because we're making some for my dad as well. Oh, I can't. Like, every time it pops the yolk. This is Linda's appearance in the vlog, like, using as a mirror. That's Linda's last day. Today it's her last day. Her last like full day. Tomorrow she's, Tomorrow she's leaving. What? I made a coffee in this, so it feels like I got it from a coffee shop. Just a double shot, and I put some of the like sugar-free chocolate syrup. My brothers have to take my car, so I can't drive to the gym. I'm gonna work out at home. Me and Linda want to film a video showing our makeup routine, so you're... <laughs> that was probably the video before this. We have no plans, but we just want it to be like one of those days when she was living here where we would just go do random things. We might go to a yoga class, we're not sure. I need to change into my workout clothes. Ow, I'm so sore. If you watch my video back in summer, I got so many weights so that I could work out at home. So we're gonna use those and do maybe an ab exercise. Yesterday I did legs and arms. Maybe I'll do like more back exercises and I'm gonna walk on the treadmill, so. I don't know why I have so much energy and I didn't even finish my coffee. I did an abs and legs workout, but I really didn't want to film it because look at my setup. I didn't even lay out a workout mat. I literally worked out on this carpet. Rich, are you hiding from my vlog? Oh, what is this hair piece? Me and Linda filmed our makeup routine. How do you like the outcome? Linda did some touch-ups on my eyeshadow and eyeliner, it looks good. We're going to M. Sharif to get lunch. We said we're going out for brunch. It's five. It's Linda's last few hours. Girl, wait, Linda's good. <laughs> Tato's here. Wear. She has like 30 hours of traveling right now. I've been like figuring out what to wear all morning. I want something warm that yeah. actually looks good with sweats. Could she say bye? Could she say bye? Could she say bye? I love you. Linda's on her way. Vlogception. Vlogception. Going to 
Dubai, and then Dubai to London, London and then London to London. Dallas, and then She's Dallas London. to St. Louis. It's annoying that you couldn't go from here to London because it's so much shorter. Yeah. First yeah. time going to the UK and you'll be leaving like within a few hours. Yeah. I only got this one then, snack. It's my favorite snack. Then, In so Paris, much. we would have then these now? all the time. Oh. Oh. This time I'm not gonna be sad and crying in the airport because I'm meeting up with Linda very, very soon. I didn't know if I was gonna come to the airport, so I'm like looking really Linda questionable passport. right now. See, this is like the like fourth uh, vlog of us like saying bye here. It's so bye. cute. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. I like this hoodie better. <laughs> hey vlog. We're going shopping i need to get my sunglasses fixed because i have these sunglasses and there's like missing screws linda's still on her way to the u.s which is actually insane it's, it's been like a crazy. whole day she left lebanon at 4 at 4 p.m it's like 5 30 uh, right now it's been like 25 hours since she left and she's still not in texas and then from texas she has a flight yeah, so to st louis left. no it's not this road it's we have to do a whole turn. Nick's trying on jeans. I think these are the ones he's yeah. gonna go with. The lighting in here is not the best. Yeah, the I'm literally gonna hide my forehead because it looks so big and shiny. Now Richie's gonna try some jeans and then I'll go to the women's section and see if I find anything. Yeah, I'm Vlog. I don't know why in this vlog I keep saying hey vlog, but anyways, did I update about you guys getting jeans? I didn't I find anything, no but Nick no. and Rich found really nice, cute jeans from True hey, Religion. Very manly jeans. <laughs> I tried on like five pairs. I think I filmed me trying them on. None of them were just hitting right, you know? And I'm a bit picky with jeans, so I didn't get anything. Even the clothes, I went through everything, couldn't find anything, so whatever. I'll go thrifting sometime this week. Then I went to get my sunglasses fixed, and then apparently I have to leave them till Monday. Now we're in Jamaize, and we're gonna get some ice cream, cereal ice cream from Pop-Up yeah. Treats. We all don't really feel like one, so we're gonna just split one of them. Saturday night, and my plans are absolutely nothing. Just just getting ice cream with Nick and Rich and then going home. I like spontaneous plans, but like, I'm not having any of those. Getting this ice cream is the most spontaneity of my day. Nick's saying that me and Rich like overthink being productive too much. That's just what makes me feel good. If I don't feel productive, I don't feel good. They literally closed 10 minutes ago. Actually zero spontaneity of my day. Mm, amazing. Bye vlog. videos before I travel. This is the first time I do heatless curls with my shorter hair. Let's see how it turns out. I slept at 4 a.m. and woke up at 9 a.m. So I'm pretty tired, but nothing I coffee can't fix. Okay. Another day of making rich breakfast so that I can vlog. He's like, no, I have to make it. I'm like, no, I want to vlog it. We're gonna do an omelet and avo toast. This time I don't have to worry about like popping the egg or not. I'm really excited to go to Trader Joe's again. I loved Trader Joe's. I'm seeing on TikTok like all this Trader Joe's slander because I just loved their snacks. Oh. No, it wasn't hot enough. You know the drill, we make the avocado mix. <gasps> no one. Mm. Okay, just slice the avo and then add salt, pepper, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Really want to try Japanese omelet, like the one that they do over rice. Yeah. I love omelets. I'm such an omelet person. And then they just fold it in such a perfect, like, oval with a point shape. They slice it over rice it and it just spills like that. Almost done, and then I. Oh, that was so slippery. No. Oh no no. Whoa, I got it. <laughs> okay, now we add the cheese. I feel like a lot of my videos have involved cooking or me being in the kitchen lately. It's just what I like to do. Yeah. Okay, let's assemble it. Oh wow. 
why does it look so photogenic? I know, right? Put this on advertising. And she's done. I was gonna make my own breakfast, but you know, I'm not gonna complain. I got my sunglasses fixed. I went back and they were still broken, so they had to fix them again. These are them. Now let's go home. I literally had to drive all the way here. I act like it's really far. It's like a 15 minute drive from my house, something like that. And my head is far. I'm with Mary. You look so cute. I was about to say No, I keep so your bun. Nice. It looks so cute. Thanks. I love the scrunchie. Thanks. We're eating pancakes for dinner. We went thrifting and my indecisiveness is like actually so bad today. It's I, bad every day. Yeah, it's bad every day, but like today is something else. I barely got any sleep, so I'm a little bit delirious today. I really feel like I'm not normal. You're so normal. This is you in natural state, <laughs> by the way. I forgot that I was vlogging. Can I cut it half? Yeah, sure. I don't even remember what the last time I vlogged today, but... Probably getting I don't even ready. think I vlogged today, actually. This is the, her day. It started now. Tonight, I need to finally organize my Oh my god, that looks so good. I need to pack later tonight. Welcome to Cooking with Nick and Jess. Yay, why did I do like jazz hands? Well, Jess is making mochi. Yeah, we're I'm... making two different like desserts from two yeah. different cultures. Jess wanted to make one thing and I want to make another. I want to make so... mochi. Nick wants to make bitlewa. bitlewa. Every time I get bitlewa in Lebanon, we always get uh, walnut bitlewa, I think. Yeah. Always want fistu halabe, like pistachios. And we never really get it. And then it's kind of more Turkish style to have pistachios. Not going to lie though, I like walnut bitlewa. But I want to make mochi. The issue is I don't really have like things to stuff the mochi with. Like those mochis that they just cut it open and put a strawberry. Yeah, we're out of strawberry, so we can put a banana. We found this. Like this rice flour. We finally found it. We're gonna use strawberry milk instead of regular milk so that it gets strawberry flavored. I hope this actually works. I really I hope, hope it, it turns pink. We have some matcha, so, so we're gonna yeah. make some matcha flavored ones as well. I forgot to take the phyllo pastry out, it's, so it's still rock solid. Right now it's on a countertop, and a countertop is made of something that it's like granite, which you know. I don't know. You're the one that studied engineering. Like I don't know. Oh, they, oh and it, oh, the two different O's. You can tell the context between the O and the O. I thought that it had pandan flavoring, but it's telling you to add pandan oh. flavoring. <laughs> 100 grams of gluttonous rice flour. 30 grams of cornstarch. 35 grams of sugar. 180 ml of milk. You put saran wrap, poke holes, and steam it for 20 minutes or you can microwave it for like two minutes. So we're minutes, gonna microwave so. it. Okay, 200 grams. Wait, then we're losing it? grams. No. You know that hole actually helps because it's letting air. That's kind of crazy that these are perfectly sized. I know, right? It's like they knew we are making mochi with it. Hi. He came to show you his bone. Hi, where are you? Where are you? Pink spatula. Let's he ran back. Pink Oh. Anyways, it smells really good. It smells yeah, it like smells strawberry. like strawberries. I don't know if I added 30 grams of cornstarch because the scale wasn't changing. It looks so goopy. It's okay. That looks much better. Last time me and Nick made mochi, it was such a fail because we got the wrong type of rice flour. But it's not done. Mochi is like fully thick. Oh, okay. well, look at this. It looks different. I don't know if I'm doing this right, by the way. Wow. Now we're gonna make also, So now we have to make ghee with butter. That's a lot of butter. We're gonna Look, leave this for while this is doing. This that took, took forever. So long. When it you look like at it in the blender, minutes. it looks so little. This took forever. Imagine each individual nut being packaged in. You have to. Well, look at my nails them. now. I have to do them. We're opening the filo pastry now. This is your sign to make bitlewa at home. It's not that hard, if, especially if you can get pistachios already peeled from the shell. Ghee on the bottom, yeah. Ghee on every layer. Take a sheet of filo. Side note, I've literally never even watched a tutorial on how to make bitlewa. We finished all the layers. That was yep. 28 it, it layers. It used all the filo though, actually, like exact. We're gonna make two. 
But then we realized we don't have enough feel at all. So not. we added more into the layer and we and left some for garnishing. Like straight lines and then a diagonal line to make that the diamond. Oh, easy. Should I cut it like that? That's okay, we decided to go with squares. For now, Joshua Weissman, it looks like we're gonna cut them super unevenly. Ah, uh, I'm not the most even cutter. I don't care. This is how it looks. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, now, it looks amazing. Into the oven for like 30 to 40 minutes. We'll see that later. We'll see you soon. We have to start with the sugar syrup. So, that's why it's like we did make. Why did I touch it? Cheers. Cheers. I like it. Oh, that was great. Mm hmm.